rather than with the so-called good. I'm doing this because the good, according to what? Isn't it just a feeling or it's conditioning? <laughs> it's one or the other. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're all good. This is an Anasfa VR to Lennon, although I haven't been keeping up. Maybe there have been VRs by now because she made a really good video. Girl, you're on a roll. Why do I even want a spiritual practice? That was the question she asked. And it was such a gripping video, so many points. I was riding along as she was talking. I thought it would be fun to turn this into a tag, so an unasked tag, basically. Not to endlessly talk about myself, but rather to discover some parts of myself and to see if I can actually put them into words, you know, post this online. Maybe more people, as I said, are willing to have this conversation because it's so very interesting. It is such a good question, right? Why do we even want a spiritual practice? By now, for most of us, it's just a given because we got into tarot one day and one thing led to another, here we are. Or maybe tarot was a, a, a side thing to a witchy practice or something like that. To me, of course, growing up in the 90s, it was all very witchy and tarot did come a little later, but in its second coming, in this lifetime of mine, all right, <laughs> um, Tarot definitely was the instigator of my entire spiritual practice. So that's where I'm going to start. And I'm going to say that a question popped up for me on the why do I even want a spiritual practice? Is just living not enough? And uh, my answer would be no. No. No, it is not enough. <laughs> As she was talking, I don't know if she had prompts, I don't remember, but I made it into prompts. Okay, so first question is, how were you raised? Now, how was I raised? There was not a religion in the household. I know my mom <clears throat> finds solace, finds herself in the Bible story, so she would be Catholic. My dad wasn't really raised Protestant, although him, you know, being Dutch, that was what would have been the case. But really, there wasn't any religion at all. It's just I know my mom is maybe a little bit more, you know, about that um, when she walks into church, you know, and she does the sign of the cross. So I know that she loves that story. And this is why if she had to choose kind of thing, that's what she would go for. But it was never pushed onto us or never even really talked about unless we asked the questions. So it was almost just not present at all. Any sort of spiritual or religion just really wasn't there. Now, I remember in primary school, I did start to develop an interest in, well, finding out at least what the Bible says. So I read a little bit of it and I signed up for a religion class, which first class already, we got these texts to read and I was interested in it, but immediately I didn't find what I was looking for. It's so weird. I immediately asked the question and it was so long ago, I don't even really remember how it truly went, but about the difference between God and Son of God and then Jesus, and I was so <laughs> confused by that right off the bat. And I remember actually not really getting an answer, not the straight answer that I thought the question deserved in a way. And this is not at all, I'm not saying that um, I, I completely dropped it, I'm just saying that I quickly found it boring. And that may have been the teacher or just the texts that we got to read at home, I don't know what it was, but I realized, wow, this is, this is not as exciting as I thought it would be. Of course, remember, I was a little child and these are just my experiences. Of course, if the Bible story is your jam, that's great. It's good. I think it's, it's nice to know, right? To walk through life with that feeling of knowing. 
What makes me want a spiritual practice? Now that is an interesting question because there are a lot of answers to it. First and foremost, for me, it definitely was about curiosity. Curiosity is number one. I was always fascinated with secrets, unknown, the occult, basically. Learning also what the majority of people don't learn. I love that. I love that stuff. I love being a tarot reader to just be able to pull cards and solve the puzzle that's right there on the table. Whether I do it for myself or someone else or a client, you know what I mean? I really love being able to speak the language of symbols or symbolism. And it's almost as if we are called to find meaning in life, in everyday life. So I really like that. I really like that. Synchronicities, just to be aware of them, having the magical mindset. And yeah, this all starts from uh, the, the core question, I think, is overall wonder of how does life actually work? I don't expect to find an answer to that or to one day know everything about the universe and beyond, but I do ask these questions. I like having that imagination, you know, that curiosity, finding out about secrets, digging a little bit deeper. Then I found out that is a big plus. It mostly is about finding and owning and using the power in me. Then, of course, I can look at uh, what my dad says about wanting to believe in God or any sort of spirituality where he says it doesn't really call to him because he believes it all stems from a fear to die. I don't think that's very true. Now, there is a wish, a wish somewhere to never die because I think there's a little bit of a truth in that, just to be completely honest and, uh, you know, candid over here. It's because I believe in the soul. I believe in soul. So there might be a little bit of a fear or a wish, as I said, to never truly fully die because the soul will still live on. But that would be my, you know, story that I love the most, just like my mom loves the Bible story the most. The soul never dies. Yeah, it, there's an endless energy. That is the story I love. So there's the wish to never die, believing in the soul. There's also a wish to transform the self, right? Or to build the self from the ground up, however you want to see it, wherever you're at. There's not really a wrong there. It's just a different... Um, experience. So next question is what myth drives your practice? Now I've talked on my channel a lot about feeling like outcast, misfit, not really belonging and I have found many many answers and advice in dark feminine rebel energy. I'll just say it, uh, Lilith. And to me it obviously it's pretty cool that uh, Lennon mentioned Inanna because Inanna was was the first and 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 then re one of the reincarnations was Ishtar and then a later reincarnation was Lilith and I consider all of those names the same entity so actually to me um, this is one of those things you can think it's a superstition I don't care it feels like a red thread in life Lennon mentioning Inanna, that was a sign for me to make this video. <laughs> Doesn't it just make it fun too to just approach life in this way? So Lilith, my secret sister, she helps me to embrace who I am, who I want to be, who I'm becoming, and to really be proud of all of that, to be proud of my accomplishments, and again to own the power within me, to almost even awaken it, to demand respect. There's more to life than this. It's almost, let's just say it, it would be really dull if this was all there was. To a certain extent, because still I am in awe that we are 
uh, the evolution, for instance, happened this way. How freaking amazing is that? It's pretty unbelievable that we are living human beings, creatures, living on this planet in a galaxy that's forever expanding. What? Who came up with this? <laughs> so it's pretty magical already in itself, but yeah, um, a sort of a higher power, even if we say God is within ourselves, to me, it's the same thing. Okay, the sneeze analogy. Love that. That was really good. That is exactly why people work with demons and darkness and hellscapes and rebels rather than with the so-called good. I'm doing this because the good, according to what? Isn't it just a feeling or it's conditioning? <laughs> it's one or the other. We should have ethics, okay? We should have morals, etc. But preferably, they are our own. Those ethics, those morals, those values. I don't think a spiritual practice, or at least mine, uh, wouldn't feel right if it was complete anarchy. It sounds rad, but no, I do have morals, I do have values. What is it you do with your own homemade spiritual practice? Okay, so this is just going to be a whole list of fun things I do with my time. Obviously tarot, that's no surprise. Journaling, really big thing. Spending time at the altar to really do anything. Just the magical practice, I feel. It doesn't mostly happen there, but that is definitely a, <laughs> a bubble of energy, power. Yeah, sacred space. I think that's a hundred videos on their own. Then I think listening to music can definitely feel like praying by lack of a better turn. And then I also like to reflect and journal, sometimes using tarot, on dreams, because I do believe in that subconscious talking to you in your unconscious time, basically. So I follow my intuition and I listen to mostly warnings, really, that come to me through my dreams. Warnings or lessons, I shouldn't put a negative spin on it because it's often very lovely. Um, spending time with yourself is basically what it is, really getting to know yourself, accept yourself, work on yourself, right? Just to get closer to your authentic self. And then also it's about spending time with friends, family, people you feel love for. I, th I consider that part of being spiritual. And then also there's just the little sneaky thing that is a big part of my life still. For instance, going out and to just indulge in <laughs> what this world has to offer. Because it feels so good to bite the apple, to eat that forbidden fruit and to realize that it's forbidden for some people but not for me and it's about also a very strong thing is just connecting to your surroundings you know breathe in the air around the nearest trees go to the beach those things can feel really uh really spiritual and you can make them spiritual you know it's not just about it's a silly example maybe but it's just the truth sharing over here it's not just about taking a walk on the beach. It's actually whilst taking a walk on the beach, <laughs> you maybe even you imagine or you just think about what this sea has to offer, what the waves. It can really feel more than just walking next to the sea, walking next to the ocean. You can really think about the waves pulling in and out the ebb and flow, for instance, that can happen within you. So maybe the ocean has some effect on how you feel and that simple walk on the beach can actually feel really healing and charging. Also, I love reading spiritual books. I think spiritual books can be anything from really crazy hermetic stuff to pulp basically anything in between i think really essentially anything that makes you think can be considered a spiritual book anything that makes you think and contemplate yeah you don't even really need answers but just just to ask some questions dance can be very spiritual 
and I have jewelry that I consider specifically spiritual or magically charged. And I just know that we keep finding ways of communicating with the forces of the universe. This whole list was just to name a few. <laughs> what keeps you on this path? Definitely the joy, the joy that it brings us, right? Definitely the joy. The, the purpose, okay, that's a big one. Um, the love. And then I also really enjoy, I guess that's part of the joy, but I enjoy the risk-taking, experimenting, really trying out. By doing that, by approaching the craft or, you know, your practice in this way, by approaching life in this way, it gives me that sense of really feeling in charge. I guess we are talking about feeling powerful. The constant figuring out of the outside world, the people around you, you. Uh, maybe it's just a way to keep busy, but it really changes everything because I'm seeing that things are connected. And if I hadn't been paying attention to it, then I wouldn't have seen it. I wouldn't have noticed all of these things. So I do consider myself a little wiser every time <laughs> because again, it's not just living life. I mean, I guess that's wonderful enough for some people, but it's not just living life. It's not just going through life. Sometimes even it feels like just going through the motions. Things can get really monotone, but it's about loving life as you experience it. So I guess this was more about my experiences of having a spiritual practice, which I think is okay, but why I want it. Of course, you don't know what you don't know. So it's just about trying it out and trying out different things, that's, that's fine. But I want it now because I see that it works. I see that something is evolving, something is growing. I don't really have the right word, but something is coming out. It just makes life way cooler, first of all. And it really does expand your view on on existence and what is actually possible. That is a great thing. And uh, yeah, before I knew or was experiencing all of this, I guess I was just curious. And I think having a spiritual practice like this, very personal, I think it's something beautiful. I feel it's daring. It can be groundbreaking, very surprising. And there's an aspect about it that really truly makes you powerful because you see it's about creating really about carving your own path how can that not be powerful so i would say as a tip whatever you are into make it yours you know make it for you take inspiration nothing wrong with that but then be creative so that you can thank yourself at the end of the day I think that was it. Maybe this was a short one, I don't know. I filmed this video a bit on a whim, but yeah, I really felt like sharing this. And if you wanna hear more on these types of musings, don't leave yet because I have a video in mind that I can link in the screen. I wanna say thank you for being here. Please let me know what you think of all of this in the comment section, or if you've made a VR or are going to make a VR, either way, link it below so that people can find it and I can find it because I want to know. Again, just being curious over here. <laughs> I am so curious. Yes, 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 I am. Okay, guys, see you next week. Bye.